The evidence will show that the only person who killed anyone was the defendant, Kyle Rittenhouse. In opening statements on Tuesday in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, the teenager charged in the fatal shooting of two protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year. The prosecution sought to portray the 18-year-old as an aggressor who resorted to deadly force during unrest sparked by the police shooting of a black man. The defendant, Kyle Rittenhouse, who was 17 years old at the time, had armed himself with an AR-15 style semi-automatic rifle loaded with 30 rounds in the magazine. And using that rifle, he shot and killed Joseph Rosenbaum, an unarmed man. This occurred after the defendant chased down Mr. Rosenbaum and confronted him while wielding that AR-15. Rittenhouse, who was charged with reckless and intentional homicides in the killing of Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber and the attempted homicide of Gage Grosskreutz, has pleaded not guilty. His attorney stressed that the men Rittenhouse shot had reached for his rifle and that he feared for his life. He acted in self-defense, ladies and gentlemen. The evidence will show that his actions on August 25th of 2020 were reasonable under the circumstances as they existed that night being attacked by Mr. Rosenbaum and the other individuals who didn't see that shooting attacked him in the street like an animal. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what the evidence will show. Thank you. The first witness to take the stand on Tuesday was Dominic Black, who has been criminally charged for purchasing the rifle for Rittenhouse because the teenager was too young to buy it legally. Black testified that on the night of the shootings, Rittenhouse was distraught. He was freaking out. He was really scared. He was pale, sweating a lot. Um, you could tell he was just scared. Did he say anything? He wasn't really talking. He just said he had to do it. It was self-defense. He, he was, people were trying to hurt him. Rittenhouse's attorneys suggested that he will testify in his own defense at trial, which would add a new element of drama to what is poised to be the biggest U.S. court test of a civilian's right to self-defense since George Zimmerman was acquitted in 2013 in the fatal shooting of unarmed black teenager Trayvon Martin.